Hello, and welcome to Elements Wood. The objective of this short video is to give you a brief overview of the functionality available in the Elements Wood application to help timber operators become more compliant with timber import regulations and better manage their timber supply chains. Elements Wood is a cloud-based application accessible through an up-to-date browser via a PC, Mac, tablet or smartphone. To log in, there are a number of different options. I can either use a third-party authentication provider, such as my normal Gmail or my Yahoo login ID, or use a predefined Elements Wood username and password. Now that I'm logged in, you can see my username and the name of my company in the top right-hand corner. I am logged in as a timber operator who owns an integrated supply chain in Cameroon, made up of a forest concession, a log yard, and two processing mills where I prepare my orders ready for export. As you can see, the home page is made up of a navigation panel on the left-hand side, ordered by modules. Each module is color-coded and gives the user easy access to the functionality available through the tiles on the landing page. When I click on a module, the relevant tiles associated to the functionality in the module appear. The landing page is made up of four strips of tiles. Each tile has a name and an image to help the user quickly understand the functionality available. The top strip of tiles are all of my predefined reports. If custom reports have been created, they would also appear on this strip. The second strip includes tiles that enable me to search the data I have stored in Elements Wood previously. The third strip of tiles allows me to input new data or modify existing data in the application. And finally, the bottom strip of tiles are log records of all activities performed by myself or related users. The layout of the application using tiles has been chosen to ensure a consistent user experience across multiple devices. Let's now look at my business to see how I have configured Elements Wood to reflect my physical supply chain and manage my concessions, carry out an inventory, process my timber in a sawmill and how I am able to track my timber from stump through to export. To view, add or modify a site I click on the tile Manage Sites. As you can see, this opens a list of my sites, and by clicking on a site, I am able to see all of the data associated to each location. It also enables me to upload any documentation associated to a site. For example, I've uploaded a harvest permit received from the Ministry of Forests, proving I have the legal right to operate in this concession. The most visual way of viewing my supply chain is through the use of the integrated mapping functionality. This allows me to create a map of all of my sites, giving me a complete view of my supply chain, including the concessions where we have the right to harvest, the log yards and sawmills we use. The map illustrates the distances the timber travels through a route map for each of my timber consignments as they travel from the stump to the point of export and dweller. In the mapping module, I am able to build a view of all of my sites by adding individual layers on top of one another. A layer can be a stock survey of trees in a concession, a trace map of a consignment that has been transported from one site to another, or an individual site. Let me firstly upload my concession 1005 and compartment 3-2 that I was awarded the right to harvest in 2012 by the Cameroon government. Here is the log yard where we take the logs once they have been felled for crosscut and storage purposes. And now let's see the two mills we use to transform the timber once the trees have been harvested. The first mill is in Sengbot and the second is in Baturi, a little further north on the main road to Dwala. Now you can see all of our sites. Let's take a look at the inventory of trees we recently surveyed and received authorization from the government to harvest this year. As you can see, we have surveyed quite a few trees. Using the filters on the right hand side, I am able to find the exact trees I need to fail for the specific orders we have received based on species, diameter, length and quality. If I click on a specific tree, the stump data is available, providing me with information such as the GPS coordinates. This functionality allows me to save time and resources looking for the most suitable trees to fell for a particular client. These tools have been developed to help improve overall decision making at a forestry level, improve operational efficiencies and reduce costs. That's a very short and high level overview of Elements Wood. Thanks for listening 
and if you would like to understand more about how the data is captured or how a digital passport is created, then please do visit our website at www.helveta.com to download some of the webcasts that are available.